Behind me stands the statue of a man whose legendary status here in Prague is unquestionable. Yet before Tomasz Garig Masaryk founded Czechoslovakia in 1918, he was more known for his unpopularity. At a time of intense anti-Semitism, he defended a Jewish man to escape the death penalty. At a time of growing nationalism, he would not uphold false claims or propaganda, even if it supported his view. He was a person who stood by his convictions, often at great cost. And during the Great War, this philosopher turned politician made his case for Czechoslovak nationhood, convincing world leaders like U.S. President Woodrow Wilson. During his 17-year presidency, Masaryk struggled to embody people's aspirations for democracy, freedom, truth, and dignity. By the way, did you know that the first First Lady of Czechoslovakia was an American? Under Masaryk's leadership, Czechoslovakia was in the top 10 most developed countries in the world. So how did this man go from being called a traitor to becoming the George Washington of the Czech Republic? This is just one of the topics that Professor Lori Throop and I will explore in Leadership Through the Ages, European Dissidents, Sages and Resistors, here in Prague in July of 2020. This is a truly magical city, the city of a hundred spires and it has been shaped by so many inspiring leaders. And as you walk the cobblestone streets, you'll see and feel their legacy. So imagine attending classes in a palace at the foot of Prague Castle. This is Anglo-American University, and our students come from over 80 countries to get a liberal arts style education in this well-preserved medieval city. We will walk in the 15th century tunnels of the Hussites who rebelled against corruption of the church. We will sit in the halls of parliament where a brave woman resisted Nazi and communist takeover. We will cruise the narrow streets of Old Town Square past 800 year old buildings where coronation parades first took place in 1311. We will gather in Wenceslas Square where a playwright waved from a balcony to a crowd of 100,000 after communism was defeated. And as we take this adventure together, we will discuss the enduring lessons and universal challenges that emerged from these lives in their context. What is required to motivate people to lay down their careers and their personal ambitions for the common good? What kind of inner life is essential to sustain the strains of leadership? How do ordinary people seeking societal change reconcile loyalty with resistance? I hope you will take us up on this opportunity. So why not invest in a transformative experience this year? Why not make the decision for your personal growth and your future aspirations? It will be well worth the cost and you may never be the same. Make the commitment in January and we will see you here in Prague in July.